Everyone, good morning to you. This is Kakaki Social. I'm Rena Obozigi. Now, Atiku Abubakar and his running mate in the 2019 presidential election, Peter Obi, gave netizens a show on Monday at Atiku's announcement of Obi's visit to his Abuja residence. Well, this has sparked speculations on social media and the bother on possible alliance ahead of 2027 political year. Well, Obi also met with a former governor of Jigawa State, Sule Lamido, and the former president of the Senate, Senator Bukola Soraki. All of these meetings held in Abuja here. Well, Obi's campaign DG in the 2023 presidential election, Unisa Tanko, tells us that at the center of the discussions during each of these visits was the state of the nation and how to reduce the suffering of all Nigerians irrespective of class and location. But then the news for netizens is that of Atiku and Obi, which appears to be the first visit and then the one that Atiku announced himself on social media. Well, this user Chinonso says this move is commendable Two good heads are better than one big alaye head. The Koboko government has flogged Nigerians enough. I am optimistic that this meeting will build bridges that will lead to a new Nigeria. Indeed, a new Nigeria is possible. You know when they say possible on social media, P-O-C-B-O. -O. Okay. Queen B says, what is going on here? Anything less than Atiku throwing his weight behind Peter Obi for presidency in 2027 will not be acceptable. Atiku must play the fatherly role now and not all Wiki's plan to be actualized in 2027. Is that a blackmail or something, 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 fatherly role and all that? For this user, he says, we'll be here to see how the people who called Atiku Abubakar an extremist over the Deborah's tweet turn around to support him when he chooses Obi as vice presidential candidate in 2027. And that was in response to Atiku's tweet, as you will see down below. He had attached the pictures and he says, it was my honor and privilege to host Peter Obi today, signed by himself. Let's see more stories and reactions to this. But Victor Israel says, Pictures of Atiku hosting Peter Obi has surfaced. I see a lot of ignorant comment. Nigerians, you don't know what we are up against. Any coalition that will unseat APC, restore sanity to the nation, and take away our sufferings, I'm up for it. Peter Obi for president, Atiku for VP. Well, it's how the projection goes that Atiku should be the vice president. I mean, Obi would always say, my respected elder brother for anybody. But then to say that his people want him to be the number one and then Atiku number two, I'm not sure how that would turn out if that is the plan in the first place. But we leave it at that. To say that River State didn't take yesterday to rest on the political crisis rocking the state. As a matter of fact, it got more interesting with the governor, Sim Fubara, announcing that he's setting up a panel of inquiry to probe governance. Because why? Jungo don't match all. Those were his words. Well, that is his immediate task to the newly sworn in attorney general of the state, Dagogo Iboruma. About he being a mistake committed by the FCT minister that must be corrected, Fubara praised Wike and his camp continue to make mistakes for his own good. In the local palace, they said the jungle has matured. We will be setting a panel of inquiry to investigate the affair of governance. Praise up. I'm not going back on it. Any man who cocks a gun shoots it. And maybe because of the gun is in safety, the bullet didn't come out. As already. So if we have a way to bury that person or the group of person, bury them. It has become very clear that this disagreement, there is no headway to it. And for a lot of reasons, there are very, very visible evidence that there is sabotage, deliberate attempt to sabotage this administration. Even if it's a mistake, by the special grace of God, I'm here today. God doesn't make mistakes. Oh. And let me also appeal to them, let them continue to make mistakes. <laughs> All right.
my dad, Sim Fubara, right there yesterday while he was swearing in the newly appointed Attorney General. So let's see some thoughts. Etiosa says, politics just got interesting. The gloves are off and Wiki's administration is under the microscope. Let's hope this probe is not a vindita, but a genuine quest for transparency and accountability. Well, someone says you wish. Ajiji says, Fubara was Wiki's um, accountant general of the state. He knows everything. Wiki should beg Sim. But then, in reaction to this, is David who says, Wiki should beg who? Is Fubara not involved in all his dealings? EFCC, they find Fubara out. Now, immunity, they save him now. Okay, more thoughts to this one. It's coming from Prince Ironsi, who says, Dear Sim Fubara, do not let this political tussle distract you from true governance and touching the lives of rivers people. Your predecessor, Governor Wiki, has been doing an amazing job in Abuja. As FCT minister, Wiki has been constructing and completing abandoned roads. Okay. Well, they soon brought, brought um, back a 2022 post, May 24th exactly, in a week, it will be two years, where EFCC declared a counter general of river states who happened to be Sim Fubara at that time, wanted, and some other people, of course, for 435 billion naira fraud. And netizen suggests that Wiki's um, shield protected Fubara from being arrested and quizzed by the anti-graft agency at the time and right now luckily for him he's in office at least he has four years to be safe without questioning so let's see if this will be brought back against him how it goes but let's move over to another um um, so a video that was to bring yesterday the new beat that has emerged from river state that says fubara must obey wiki let's see that and then we come back for more stories So that was definitely a pro wiki group saying that, oh, the younger person in office must respect someone who's been there before. But then we take our final story, which is a video that is now circulating on social media. It shows a man using kegs to refill a water fountain located at Ochange roundabout in Onicha, Anambra State, Ukoli State, but she's not on the show this morning. Then the fountain was said to have been constructed in March this year when Governor Charles Saludo transformed it from a refuge dump site. Let's take a look at that video and then we'll come back for some thoughts. <laughs> All right, let's see what you said about this chill day from Anambra States in reaction. It says, water fountain is one of the most difficult structures to maintain, especially in a country where there is no steady electricity. When Soludo embarked on building this water fountain at the Ochanja roundabout, many of us pointed this out. Now take a look at the Medioka project. After a few months of commissioning, and then two more lessons, um, this user says, what if they are doing some sort of repairs or maintenance to test something? And final thought on this one becoming from Planet, who says, tomorrow they will come out on social media bullying Nigerians to support this kind person to be president of Nigeria. Well, who knows? They might want to go to 
the Senate. After all, that's where governors retire to from a incident in Nigeria. So that's how we call it a day today on Kakaki Social. I'll see you again tomorrow. Welcome back. Thank Lord. you, Rana. A lot of uh, stories. The, the fountain story got me in stitches, actually. <laughs> and but, but the, the serious the serious issues there is what that very first response you took, mm -hmm. that very first reaction uh, talks about. Uh, you, you need to interrogate a lot of the projects that are going on across the country. Absolutely. How do you build a fountain in a so city that has no running water? Citizens provide their own water mm -hmm. for themselves in their homes. And yet government builds a water fountain, a water fountain in the city center. Mm -hmm. So how are you, so gonna, how are you going to run it? Refillable. It's refillable. That's what you saw. <laughs> <laughs> with the the the, the, the aboki. water vendor mm -hmm. uh, aboki actually means friend yeah i heard so but that's what we've, so, we've grown to call them yeah but um, well they are they're our friends anyway absolutely but you see when you, you the futility of trying to fill the reservoir of a water fountain f using a water vendor I mean, I don't need to say anything about that. It just tells you that something is wrong. Somewhere. Absolutely. And I think there's a lot that is not being said. Um, that video is saying a lot without saying a lot. And I think, you know, it's questionable. The government is also thinking in all of this conversation. It may not be an outright accusation, mm -hmm. but it's pointing to lack of infrastructure, lack of availability of, you know, safe water, and also shows a sense or a level of water poverty in that area. And I think that is what I took out of it. But to all the matters, you know, with the visitation and um, yeah. uh, what the netizens were saying, <laughs> <laughs> what's the likelihood that this really, it is what it is? Well, we might just say that it is what it is because <laughs> there are projections right there. And I see that they're even saying that um, Atiku will have to be the vice president if at all anything like that is going to work. But then we remember that um, part of his acceptance speech, that's um, mm -hmm. Atiku's acceptance mm -hmm. speech after the Supreme Court's judgment, was that, oh, he's going to make sure that he's available. And people were asking, in what regards? Are mm. you going to be providing leadership for younger people? Or you are going to not go to Dubai? And, and be available from there. Yes. Mm. So what part exactly? But these pictures right now, I think it's making the news, 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 because all of them are still from the PDP. And then Obi has said that he's not leaving the Labour Party. So mm. is he going to be um, jumping from political parties to another, depending on Are which they going one? to form a new political party? Absolutely, perhaps? depending on which one favours him. So all of this, mm -hmm. God's grace will be here to see the development. Don't worry, it's still 2024. <laughs> the, 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 it's, everything is just brewing. Our politics. Uh, you, you remember that uh, Professor Padu told me, yeah. Also told us on this yeah. program that yeah. he, he was in the U.S. to go and cook some, mm -hmm. not a bono soup, now maybe <laughs> vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> so, so a lot of things are happening politically, but you know mm -hmm. they're just under wraps for now, and we'll get to see uh, as time uh, passes by mm -hmm. what exactly is cooking, whether here in Abuja or in Washington D.C. Absolutely. Or maybe they're looking at a stronger thought force, or even thought force. Nobody knows, but. Fingers crossed. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Rena, we have to let you go. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Have a lovely day. You too. Rena Maria. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look at Please do. All right, we'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll continue.